Hey there, this is Mr. Krish and welcome to my channel Mr. Krish on the go. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So today in this video, I want to discuss about the headlamp of our, our headlight of a bike or a car and also how to use headlight. Okay, so let's start the video. So first of all, every car or bike come with a headlamp setup. You can see at least one headlight or more than one headlight. Uh, for example, you can say uh, my Yamaha FZ came with a single headlight setup, and bikes like uh, Yamaha R15 version 3 or version 2, or uh, Apache RR310, Kawasaki Ninja 300, 400, or even super bikes like uh, Yamaha R5, R1 or uh, this kind of bikes came with a dual headlamp setups. Generally. Every car came with a dual headlamp setup and some cars came with a 4 headlamp setup or 6 headlamp setups. This uh, depends on their, how the manufacturer designed the bike or car etc. So this part is called the headlight dome and inside this there is a headlight bulb as you can see and this, is, this part is called the reflector. Light from the bulb fall on the reflector and the reflector creates a light beam which helps us to see the road properly on low lighting condition. Okay, now let's talk about headlamp bulbs. Okay, so there are three types of headlamp bulbs. Those are, number one is halogen bulb, which is the cheapest and mostly used bulb. 70% of bikes and cars have this halogen light setup, like my MC has this setup and also my Avenger has this setup ok so point number 2 is HID bulb which is obviously very very brighter than normal halogen bulb and also costlier than normal halogen bulb they create better illumination at night but they drains out a huge level of battery point number 3 is LED bulb which is nowadays getting very very popular bikes like KTM Duke 390 Bajaj Dominar Apache RR 310 etc came with this LED light setup. LEDs are brighter and also costlier than the normal halogen bulbs but it has a longer lifespan and the light and the light illumination is very very brighter and brightest you can say it is brighter than the normal halogen or HID lights. Okay. Now let's talk about bulb power. Actually there are some variations of bulb like the 35 watt bulb, you can say, and 60 watt bulb, 50 watt, 5 watt bulb, 90 watt bulb, 100 watt bulb, etc. Company fits the bulb according to the power of the battery. Like in my FZ, there is a 35 watt bulb, but in my Avenger, there is a 55 60 watt bulb, and obviously, 60 watt bulb creates a better bright light and spread and also strong illumination than the 35 watt bulb, but it depends on how much your battery can take. Okay, now let's talk about how headlights work. How to use the headlights properly. As you all know that all the BS4 bikes came with AHO or auto headlight on feature. That means headlight will turn on whenever you start the bike and in the low beam setting. Okay. Now you can always change between high beam and low beam using this particular switch on this left side. Low beam is used for close light spread that means the light beam fall close to the bike and high beam is used for long distance light spread means light falls at a longer distance obviously high beam has a better light spread and better visibility but you should always use low beam otherwise this high beam will hit the eye of the person who is coming from the opposite direction and make him literally make him blind next point is how to use the high beam. High beam is used for giving various kind of signals like you want to overtake a car or bike you can flash high beam and overtake that car or or if you encounter a high beam you can flash your light to tell that guy to use the low beam which is literally blinding you. You can use the pass switch to do the same thing also. Okay so in bad weathers 
such as rain, fog, you need to use your headlamp for better visibility. Now, let's come to a frequently asked question that is, can I change my default halogen bulb or stock halogen bulb to HID or LED? And the answer is obviously you can, but it is better to stick with your stock setting because changing the stock setting can create various problems like it can melt your um, dome or it can melt your reflector or drain your battery or you can get a low light spread as this the stock dome is not made for LED bulbs or HID bulb it is only made for halogen bulbs so it is better to stick with a stock setting instead you can instead you can install some third party LED lights like I have installed on my Yamaha FC that uh, uh, but that should be of low power not high power LED or we, your battery will drain very quickly okay so this is a small informative video on how to use your headlamp and uh, details about your headlamp hope this video will help you if you found this video useful you can share this video with your friend Do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel more informative videos are coming soon thanks for watching spread love bye bye